Hi everybody, this is a morning stretch yoga practice, so very short practice, about 10 minutes, and thanks Sandy for the suggestion. I'm going to come to the mat, easy cross-legged. So from here, tall spine, stack your joints, bring your shoulders right over your hips, and then bring your head right on top of the neck. So if you're hanging the head forward, see if you can lift the heart a little bit, draw the shoulders back and down, and then just take a moment here. Take an inhale and reach the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, side out of your mouth. Good, so we get some movement going here. I'm gonna turn the palms up, reach arms up high, inhale. Exhale, arms reach down alongside you. Inhale, reach and scoop. Maybe look up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, down. And if you haven't seen my other videos where I explain when the palms are up and the thumbs are pointing back, it actually puts the shoulder into more stable position, externally rotates it into that stable position. So we're going to bring the arms up again. Inhale, exhale, arms down. Let's go up again. Inhale. And then exhale, turn to your right, bring your left hand to your right thigh. Right hand just to tend by the right hip. Inhale, lengthen from your hips, and then exhale, gentle twist to the right. So you can notice how tight the spine might be um, because it's the morning, and also um, you might not have done a, lot, a whole lot of movement yet. Inhale to find length. Exhale, twist. Preparing the body for the day. One more. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Arms reach high. Exhale, twist to the left. Breath in to find length, and then breath out to twist. Maybe the head turns a little bit. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, lower, middle, upper spine. Inhale. Exhale to twist. One more. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Back to center. Arms reach high. Exhale, land your hands. Reverse the cross of the legs, and then inhale, arms reach up again. Exhale, land your right hand and reach to the right side. Inhale here, exhale, reach. So relax the left shoulder down the back. Inhale, exhale to reach. The right hand's pressing down and away, so you have even weight distribution between both sit bones. Maybe the gaze goes up a little. Inhale, exhale, expand that left side. Gorgeous, one more inhale, exhale, reach. And then land your left hand, right arm high. Inhale, exhale, reach to the left side. In breath, out breath, reach. Maybe the gaze goes up, breath in, breath out, reach. And then this left hand is pressing down away, like it's sliding away from you. That gives you a lot more activity. Inhale, exhale to reach and open right side. And then come back to center, really nice. We're gonna come onto the knees here. Hands are right underneath your shoulders and knees are underneath your hips. And we'll get some cat-cow movement going for the spine. On the inhale, open the heart forward, tailbone rises, belly down. Exhale, round your spine. Don't melt the back and press your hands down and away from you so you feel that through the upper back. Inhale, drop the belly down, tailbone rises, heart lifts. Exhale, round your spine. Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Ha. So warm the body up from the inside out. Inhale. Exhale round. Good. Come back to neutral. And then just side to side movement here. So you're going to open the right ribcage to the right, left ribcage to the left. So just some nice circles here. Go both directions. And then you're going to come back to neutral. Curl your toes under, back into downward dog. So hands are pressing actively down through the mat, dialing away from one another. And then roll your toes uh, back and forth, side to side. Uh, you can start with any foot that you have. <laughs> Go to the other side. Good thing I crack myself up when I'm teaching all by myself. 
Oh, so getting both feet involved here one at a time. Make it a little difficult doing both at the same time. All right, feet hip width apart. And then inhale here. Exhale, press down and away with the hands. Draw the lower ribs in and reach the sit bones up towards the back of the room. And if you need, and you're rounding through the back at all, please bend the knees a little bit. Inhale here. Exhale. Come forward into high push-up. Inhale. Exhale, land the knees. Anchor the tops of the feet. Come down slowly. Modified push-up. Little lift, low cobra, some back bends this morning. Exhale, melt down. So it's a nice way to warm the back up as well. Inhale, little lift, low cobra. Exhale, down. And because we're in forward movement all, usually all the time through the day, back bends are the way to counterbalance. Inhale, lift again. Exhale, melt down. One more. Inhale, little lift, press down through the tops of the feet. Reach the crown of the head forward. No wrinkles in the back of the neck. Exhale, melt down. Come through your knees, press back, curl your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale. Reach those heels down, actively get into the calves. Let those heels disappear behind the ankles. And then walk your feet as straight as possible up towards your hands, feet hip width apart. Place the belly onto the thighs, hang through the torso, bend the knees as much as you need to allow for a long spine, place your hands in opposite elbow creases, hang your head, deep breath in, up the back of the legs, exhale, down the spine, out of the head, a little swing's good, try to avoid bouncing because the bouncing will actually make your muscles grab on to protect themselves, especially in the morning if the Fascia's is just starting to get moving, muscles are starting to get moving, the body has protection mechanisms, so just drop gently here. Put the hands in opposite elbow creases, you might feel a little traction through the upper spine, twist side to side, press the feet down and away from one another, activate here, release your pants down and curl up, belly to spine. Head comes up last. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. So coming up, back and down, and then forward. Good, okay, so from here, you're gonna have feet hip width apart, arms reach up. Exhale, twist to the right, left arm forward, right arm back. So from the side, looks like this. Draw the left hip back, pull the hands back. And then arms reach up. Exhale, twist to the left. And arms reach up again. Exhale, twist right. Pull those hands back. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, twist to the left. And then we'll come back to center. Feet are hip width apart. We're just doing some sagittal arm swings here. Let your arms just fly. So as you come down with the arms, you're dipping in through the knees. Make a squat position. Good. Just let those arms go from the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your arms down, and now we're going to swing. And swing. Feet hip apart. Bend the knees as the arms come out to the sides. You can be quite vigorous. That's why bending the knees is good. And it gets involved. The lower body gets involved with the twist. So you're not walking this, and you're just twisting here. The whole body's moving. So we've been swinging those arms for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let them slow down. Feet hip width apart. Interlock your fingers behind the back. Reach your knuckles down. Wrap your shoulder blades tighter together. So you should wrap your shoulders. You should feel your sh uh, the, the wrapping of the shoulders back. And you should feel a stretch through the fronts of the shoulders. So wrap those shoulders back behind you. Shoulder blades connect, gaze is forward, and then maybe pull the hands away from the back a little, or the glutes a little bit, reach the knuckles down, and you can also close the base of the palms here. If the palms are open, close them. That'll give you more stretch. Couple breaths here. I'm already 10 minutes. Oh, geez. Okay, release that. 
and then we're gonna do about uh, another five minutes, okay? Take your arms forward, palms face in, now reverse uh, the palms, they're all out, uh, facing out, and then cross the, uh, these are not your ankles, they're your wrists, <laughs> connect the palms. Roll the shoulders towards one another, press your hands actively into one another as you round the back, round, 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 keep pressing, five, four, three, two, one, good, release. All right, so from here, take your arms up, inhale, Exhale, your uh, right arm is going to come across, left hand to the back of the right arm. Turn your gaze to the right, this will get to the back of the shoulder and the shoulder blade. Press your hand into your tricep and your tricep back into the hand now. Go, go, go. Make it an active stretch. Press out into the hand for three, two, one. Release that, arms reach up. And exhale, left arm across. So you can grab on with the hand or use your um, arm. But I like the hand, a little more control. Turn your gaze to the left, pull in, relax the left shoulder down. Now press your arm into your hand and hand back into the arm. Five, four, three, two, one. Release down. Okay, so now we're going to come down to the mat. Let's go feet hip with apart, arms reach high, inhale, back bends, baby back bend, lift the heart, exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, long spine. Land your hands and step back, high plank. Inhale here, exhale, land the knees. Right foot steps up, bring your block. If you don't need a block, but personally I like to have it to make sure my spine is long. So if I'm down here and I'm trying to twist and my spine is rounded, that is not an efficient way to get into your spine. So you want left hand on the block, pull your heart forward, and you can tent the fingers here too if you're able to keep a long spine, right arm high, inhale. Exhale, twist. So it's getting into the back, but also into the hip. Curl your back toes under. Press both feet down like they're sliding towards one another. Inhale here, lengthen. Exhale, twist. In breath. Out breath, twist. Right shoulder slides down. Inhale. Exhale to twist. Really nice. Switch sides. So bring the left foot up. Back toes curled under. Right foot hand to the block or tenting to the mat. Inhale, find length here. Exhale, the twist to the left. Take your left arm high. Press both feet down like they're dragging into one another. Inhale, exhale, twist. Breath in to find length. Breath out to rotate. Inhale, last one. Exhale, take the gaze up, twist. Back to center. Take your block out. Come back into a tabletop, curl your toes under, sit back onto your heels for an arch stretch, just a momentary arch stretch. And then we will do one stretch for the fronts of the legs, and hopefully that will be good for you this morning or this afternoon. It could be an evening uh, session too. Come forward, right foot up again, and then you're going to come into a little deeper lunge here. Walk your right foot out to the right side of the mat. Your right hand's on the inside of your right foot. And then turn your heart to the right, right hand to your thigh. Bend the back leg. You might need a strap or grab onto your foot. See if that is uh, available for you. If it isn't, strap it up. Inhale here, exhale, twist, and press your foot into your hand as you pull into your foot. Hello, quadricep. Woo. One more breath here. Twist your heart open. And back to center, we'll switch sides. Hello, hip flexor as well. Left foot up and over to the left side of the mat. Allow the hip flexor, right hip, to come towards the floor. Twist open to the left. Your right shoulder's down the back, integrated down the back. Left hand to your left thigh, and then twist open. Option here, bend the leg, bend the right leg. Grab onto your right foot with your left hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, and press your left foot Sorry, right foot into your left hand. Inhale here, exhale, twist. Maybe the right foot hugs closer to the glute. Woo! This will be, takes a while to get into this one, so just use a strap if you need, and if it's not available, and you can do one standing up. Come back to center, and then you're gonna come up to standing. So the one, if you want, you can do a standing version, which is grabbing onto the ankle, hold the heel in like so. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. 
Thank you so much for the suggestion, Sandy. Hope it's good for you and it's five minutes over. Haha, <laughs> namaste. Hopefully that works okay for you. All right, bye, have a good day.